what a day, man! It's been a, it's been a, a big game changer on some things, but a lot of learning, a lot of self reflection. So today, I just want to talk about leadership. I know it's a vague word, but uh, I always think about strategy when I think about leadership, and uh, just kind of making other leaders, leaders or managers better. Um, and where they should be, I guess, making them think outside the box. So an example for me would be, you know, giving ideas that I've seen before, you know, from other companies that I've worked with and just ensuring that it makes sense when you try to sell the idea, because obviously it's working somewhere else. So why not here? Right. But I also think about like the person, right? I mean, are they willing to listen or are they not willing to listen and just kind of do it their way? So anyways, I'm going to say anyways, I'm going to fix that, but it's like planting seeds, I think is my goal. Um, if anything is to just make them think outside the box to be more self-reflective of who they are. I'm not perfect either. Uh, I admit that. Um, and I like to sit back and listen now, which is a pretty good skill. So I feel, you know, confident to say that, but, uh, learning from each other i think is the goal so whatever you do learn from each other listen and uh you know just like picking a uh someone's brain that you admire you know because they're super smart about something or whatever just take those pieces and just mold it you know into something that you like that you feel your heart is something you want to be or that you're trying to achieve or even if it's goals you're trying to achieve and you need a little bit of help from you know certain people in different departments um i just think it's so important for teamwork but i also think that if you're a strong leader in certain things like don't push it down their throat or their ideas or your ideas you know make sure you can actually you know get feedback and understand where these people are coming from what their struggles are and if you can't help, you, you can help. If they can help you, then take it. I think asking for help is humble, but I think it's the smartest thing you can do is as a leader or a manager to ask for help when needed. Um, it doesn't make you look weak. I think a lot of, there's a big stigma about that, about asking for help and, you know, you're waiting for things to overflow and, and uh, you know, boil over until you're just like, oh my God, I have a mess. I'm going to have to clean it up or you lose your job or you end up quitting or certain things, you know, of that nature. It's just so important to just get it out, trans be, be, ugh, be transparent and, uh, you know, just love what you do, of course, but then just love that idea of what you do and sell it. So end of the day, Believe in it and sell it. Sell the belief. They will believe with you. I promise. All right. I'm tired. I'm going to bed. It's 8 o'clock. I know it sounds dumb, but it's been a long day. A lot of ideas. A lot of thoughts. So I'll come back later with another idea because I'm just blogging and posting videos for I don't know, sanity. I don't know. I don't know. I'm bored. I don't know. We'll figure it out. But put your comments on below and let me know what you think about leadership and management and your ideas and sharing these things. Do you not ask for help? Are you okay with asking help? Do you think that was the dumbest thing I could have said that, you know, don't be afraid to ask for help, whatever. I would like to know your thoughts and comments down below um, and go from there. Alrighty. We'll see you later.